In a few months' time, you'll all be here watching some of this. Okia kicks ahead for himself. Okia is going to back himself in. Brains the pill in and puts it down. Super try from Solomon Okia. Or maybe even some of that. It's Naya Tapa. Naya Tapa puts her foot to the floor. Pedal to the metal. And it's later, ladies. Try time and the match, USA. But when you're not watching USA Rugby, you want to know what there is to do around the area. South of Market Street, aka Soma, is where AT&T Park is located and where the Rugby World Cup will be held. It is the old industrial heart of San Francisco that has undergone mass redevelopment in recent times, including the construction of AT&T Park, which opened in 2000. I can assure you the competition on the field is going to be intense, but in a break between play, you might want to check out one of the city's craft breweries, many of which are just a short walk from the stadium. Well, the first brewery was roughly in 1896, but there's been a really uh, an emergence or an explosion of new breweries that are happening in San Francisco. The last few years, we've gone from seven breweries to 30 breweries. So there are a lot of options to uh, drink beer here in San Francisco when you guys arrive. We are very much a thriving beer culture, and Soma is a very important neighborhood in the history of craft beer here in San Francisco. A lot of the first breweries started here in the Soma neighborhood, including Anchor Brewing. Um, Thirsty Bear is probably one of the most important breweries here in San Francisco. Here at Thirsty Bear, all the beer is made in-house. This is the brewery right behind me. So we're constantly producing up to nine different beers at any one time. Not only do we make beer, we have a huge 40-foot bar. So you can have any choice of whiskeys that you like, followed by some amazing cuisine. But if you want to use your time a little differently, check out San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, which is close by. SF MoMA was founded in 1935, and our original location was on Van Ness in the heart of the Civic Center in a beautiful old building that served us well until the 1990s. We had kind of outgrown it. And when our uh, trustees and director at the time went looking for a new location, they settled on South of Market, which was an area that had long been undeveloped and, uh, and not in very good shape in San Francisco, and we were really one of the cultural anchors here. It's the perfect place to come for an hour or two. We're a very large museum. We have lots of different kinds of exhibitions going on, everything from Matisse paintings to really contemporary cutting edge art and uh, we have a great cafe on the fifth floor and it's the perfect place to come, grab a bite to eat, take a little uh, artistic refreshment and then head back to the game. Yerba Buena Gardens is a great spot to check out just opposite the museum. When you get hungry, the Anzu restaurant is definitely worth a visit. When you sit down, we have this wonderful server, bartenders here, a sushi bar here, and this uh, bubbling and howling. It is a great atmosphere. The, the, the atmosphere is a little before every, every, every one, you know. We have, we have the locals are coming, we have also the business uh, personnel coming, we have weddings, we have birthdays, we have anniversaries. And uh, I really think we, we don't have one type of deal. Uh, everything is fresh. Uh, we have the sushi is prepared fresh in front of you. Uh, we have a, a sushi chef uh, from Japan. He was really trained from a master sushi chef. All the produce comes every day. Uh, fish comes every day. Uh, and uh, and it's a, that's how we are creating this uh, incredible atmosphere in Anzu. And if you want to know more about the city, check out all the guides on World Rugby's social media. <laughs>